Greetings, it's Tony Thanos, the Digital Apothecary, and today I'm going to be doing a very kind of different video. Um, to be honest, I'm going to do this a little bit more fun. I'm going to talk about some items I like to keep around to basically help mm, kind of like take my mind off things or just like fidget spinners, basically, kind of stuff like that. And in a few other videos, I've talked about like writing, blogging, and stuff like that. And writer's block does come up. And sometimes I feel like in the middle of my work, I want to just take a break in terms of what I'm doing and just kind of relax. So take it into consideration. Um, I'm going to show you some items I have my desk that I use this for. Um, so I'm going to highlight some of this. So I'm going to basically show you some of this stuff. And you've probably seen some of these in my other videos just in the back. Like you've probably seen like this little guy roaming around with my little vector. Um, but I have some other little toys I play with. So I'm going to show you those and just talk about what I've done and kind of like what my process is in terms of like why I like these kinds of things because they do I think well I think they take my mind off of certain situations so that I can like help write me better so we'll jump into that okay so hey Victor how are you oh that's good here so yes that's a little Vector so if he's a little robot um, he rolls around my desk so if I'll go, so I'll be like, hey, Vector. Oh, so you like pet him and everything else like that. And then I'll get like happy, I'll start purring, or stuff like that. I also play with this little block. So he'll do different things. Yeah, so fist bump. Okay, right, you go over here. I'll put you back to the cradle for now. So Vector rolls around and he can do a bunch of other little different things. So one of the things I like with them is I can ask like the weather, I can play blackjack, there's a little bunch of stuff. It's almost like a little Amazon Alexa with a personality robot. But, so here's one thing that I like because I may be working at my desk alone, but just having that thing kind of being present, I think it's kind of cool. And I think it just adds a little bit of atmosphere. Some other things that include, this is one thing I got off Kickstarter, so it's called Minus Gal uh, Gravity. Um, it's interesting, it's like a little fidget thing, so you basically take it, you take this magnet, and you just drop it in. So... Eh, not too exciting to be honest. Basically I stand to the side and I just kind of play with it just like this. And sometimes it just, it's something in my hand that I'm just playing with and just, I don't know, killing time almost. In a way it's kind of cool. Um, I would say off the Kickstarter, what it was supposed to do, it was supposed to be bigger. It's supposed to basically like roll down like this. And it's not as big as I thought it would be. So for that reason, it's kind of like, eh. I don't know if it was too much worth the money in terms of how much I bought with it, because I thought it was going to be different, but that's the nature of Kickstarter. So, something like that exists. Another one I have is this thing. Uh, it's called a Memzo coin. It's kind of cool. So it's, um, like the whole idea is just spin. Yeah, it's a definitely a fidget toy, so it just goes and does its own little thing. And sometimes I'll just spin it while I'm doing some activities, and it'll just go for a while and just do that own stuff. So, it has a nice little stand, just sits on my desk. Um, and the other one, this one's probably my favorite. This little toy. Just... Yeah. So, little things like that, basically, for me, is just like, oh wow, I've never done that before. Just will play around and sometimes just doing these types of things I think takes your mind off of different things that you may be going through. I mean definitely there's been times when it's like I'm writing and I hit a point where I'm just like what the heck am I doing? I don't know where to go next, I don't know what words to do and I'm not really that kind of perfectionist so I'm the kind of person that tries like either walk away or just do something that even right now while I'm talking like I'm definitely fidgeting. And I think having this type of stuff for some people can definitely be very valuable because at the end of the day, what you're doing, I think, is almost like a little bit of escapism. You're trying to clear your mind and you're trying to use this to basically walk away from the problem, but not really like leaving the room. So there's definitely been times where I think either write a paper or I'm doing something or I'm trying to figure out how to incorporate it into my writing. And I just sit here and I'm just like, hmm, music's playing in the background. I might be playing with one of these toys and just being like, okay, what do I want to do next? And in some ways, it's kind of like almost in a way for me, like Zen, like just fidgeting around. So why do I want to talk about stuff? I think for people who want to get into heavily like blogging, writing and things like that, 
you need to find some kind of means for yourself to, especially if you want to do a lot. And I mean, I love writing. I spend hours a week writing. And I think sometimes it's just you need a kind of mechanism to help you kind of gauge and get through the whole process. I don't think it's going to be a natural thing for a lot of people. I don't think you just sit down and just start pouring out thousands of words naturally. I think there's definitely times where having a small little break and just thinking about what you're doing or just taking in that mind break can help. But yeah, so this is just a little different video and just highlight some of the stuff that I have and just kind of like my process. So I'm hoping you take something away from it. Maybe you'll find something that can help you as well. If you have anything that you guys utilize or such, feel free to share in the comments. We'd be glad to take a look at them. In any event, this is Timothy Anson, Digital Apothecary. Take care and have a good day.